The easiest way to do the update page is to use the record update form wizard. Now before we do that, we have to uh, create a record set for the page. And, um, and then when we get the little dialog box for that, we want to remove uh, any auto increment fields uh, or any fields that we don't want to update. Now, whenever we do an update, we only want to update one record, and, um, or at least when we use Dreamweaver. And um, so what we want to do is on the list page, we want to make a link to the update page, and we want to send a query string uh, or, URL, or URL parameter. And, um, and then on the update page, we want to filter the record set based on that value that gets sent in the URL parameter or query string. So let's start in Dreamweaver, let's start on our update page. And I want to start by making a record set. And um, I can go ahead and just start with just the same record set that I use for the list page. So I'll just control C to copy that or right click copy and then go to my update page and um, control V to paste in that record set as a starting point. And um, now what I'd like to do is is go ahead and use my um, my record update um, form wizard And when I do that, it, it gives me this dialog box. So I want to use the um, con explore California connection and the packages table and the unique key column or um, primary key is package ID. When I'm finished updating, I'm just going to go back to the list so I can see whether or not the update worked. Now I'm going to have to remove this um, package ID from my list of uh, fields to update. So I'll just go ahead and subtract that and click OK. And then what Dreamweaver does is it creates the form for me. Uh, it creates it inside a table so I can always edit that table so that it looks the way that I want it to. Now I'm just going to go ahead and save this and upload it. And um, now what I want to do is I want to make a link to this um, to this page. And this is a lot like the um, when you link to the detail on the list. But I think the easiest way to do this is just to make, um, just type in the word update and, um, you know, maybe put a little dash in there or something. And, um, and then I'm going to select that and then make a link and I want to use the folder icon because I want to add a URL parameter. So I'm going to the update page and the parameter that I'm going to send I'll just call it ID and the value is going to be from the database. It's going to be um, package ID and I click OK and then I click OK and OK again. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this and um, and then put to upload it to the server and, and just hit an F12. Um, so notice that now I've got update next to all of these. And so if I click on this right here, uh, it takes me to, to my page um, where I can update the records. And let's just try this one. Um, I'll just add some letters and hit update and notice that it did work. Now the only problem is, is that um, if I go to another record, I'm still getting to that first one, Backpack California. And um, so what I need to do on this page is add a filter to my record set so that I only show the record that I'm interested in. So I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. I'm going to go to my update page. I'm going to edit my record set by double clicking on it.
and now I want to filter my record set package ID equals URL parameter and remember that the label that I gave it was ID underscore under I'm sorry lowercase I lowercase D uh, so I'm gonna click OK and now I can test this I'm gonna save it and upload it and then if I um, go back to my list and then try it again, this time I'll try the second record, then notice that it gives me the correct um, the correct record this time. Notice that there's a there's a query string up here with ID equals 2 and so I'm looking at the second record and so I can just test this by making my change then I go back and everything looks good. Now um, if you wanted to you could go ahead and just create this um, you could create this your own table your own form and um, the trick here is that you want to populate these fields, um, these text boxes, with the data from the database. And the way that you do that is down here in the Property Inspector under Initial Value, you would just click on the lightning bolt, and um, and then you can go select the uh, the field that you want to populate that um, that text box with. I'll cancel out because it's already it's already done it. Now, if you wanted to maybe you don't want to update the the graphic you could delete that and, um, and then you would need to go into your update record server behavior and double click on that to um, to make any changes like if you make any changes on here then this is going to have to be changed 